Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to use the picture in picture in Windows Movie Maker 6. I couldn't find anything on YouTube that was adequate. You'll notice in Movie Maker 6, over here on the left hand side, you're going to have your import, edit, and publish to. Also, if you want to bring in a movie, you can click this button, import media. Okay, I'm just going to show you a quick little way to do this. I'm going to take the uh, wildlife and put it here. And let's see, let's split it in a couple of places. Okay, back, back, back. This is how you split. Use the scrubber. You can just click and drag on it. Get close and then use these arrows forward, back. There we go. Go to the exact place. Okay. Birds, horses, split. And then let's go past the birds to the seals. And you have to go fairly easily. I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Birds, seals, birds, split. And one more. Past the seals to okay, the other birds. Back up a little bit. Click and drag it backwards. Seals, forward, birds. Back, back, back to the seals, forward to the birds, back to the seals, and split. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the rest of this. Right click on it, and come up here and click on remove, and it disappears. Now we're going to add some other videos to these in a couple of different positions so you can see how this works. Now, these, this is HD and widescreen, and some of these aren't, so you're going to see some black bars around. Uh, the thing about Movie Maker or any video editing program is if you're using HD videos as the background, you should use HD videos as the inserts, as the picture in picture. Okay, I'm going to put the bear there, and here's a PIP effects test. Let's find another short one. You put this one here. Okay, now you go to your transitions, and if you've downloaded Rayhan's TFX shader, you're going to notice I've downloaded a lot of extras for Movie Maker. Let me get down to. Okay, you're going to get down to R Rayhan. It has Chroma King for blue screen and green screen, and it has picture in picture. Now, A is the video on the right, and B is the video on the left. So we have two sets, A, B, A, B. We're going to add transitions. We want A to be a big one and B to be the little one, and you just want it in the corner. You can have it in the lower corner, upper corner, kind of midway if you'd like. There are all kinds of choices here for you. Let's see. Let's take... This one, you're going to slide it right in between. You're going to click on it, and you're just going to drag it all the way over. You're going to take this one and make it the same length. There we go. Now, what should we do with our bear? We did upper right. Let's do lower left. And drag it in. Now I could leave this one sticking out, but I'm just going to drag it down. Okay, let's preview this now. You can see the black bars appear here. And this is kind of small. There's the HD. That's the HD on HD. Back her up. Okay, see this is an HD picture in picture on another HD. Consequently, it does not have uh, the black bars on it. Uh, you can also notice this is kind of separated from. If you'll note on some of these, like this one, here, let's uh, let's remove these. Okay, you'll notice we have a B in the left-hand corner that's kind of set up. Let's show you what that looks like here. Click on it and just drag it through, and it drags the picture with it. And then I'll show you this one in comparison. 
and let's watch them. And you can see this one is kind of lifted away from the upper corner. And the other one is set right in the corner. So with Rayhans, you get two different ways to display a picture. Now if I go up here to Tools, Options, I can change the aspect ratio from widescreen to regular screen. And now you'll notice the black bars. <laughs> My uh, regular size clip that I inserted picture in picture does not have the black bars. <laughs> excuse me, bars. <coughs> but now my widescreen one, since I pushed it in, <coughs> made it fit across a narrower frame. Now it has the black bars. So it's very important. If you, if you don't want black bars, try to pick videos that have the same aspect ratio when you're putting them together like this. And if we go to the, okay, this one, you can see it fits flush in the corner. So you have two choices here. You have kind of a larger one away from the corner. Let me change that back. Tools, Options, Advanced tab, Aspect Ratio, 4x3 is regular, 16x9 is widescreen. There we go. I'd rather the black bars on the little one. Okay. And if you scroll through it, you can just click and drag this. It's called the scrubber. And you can see the difference. I prefer this one. It's a little bigger, etc., etc. You don't have to have widescreen. It just depends. Your, your camera either will be set for HD widescreen or not. Okay. And that's how those transitions work. Okay, that's called picture in picture. It says Rayhan FX, FX, right? FX, PIP, and you get two choices flush with the corner or slightly set away from the corner, like this one is here. Okay, I hope that helps. Now, as long as you've never used this before, I might as well just continue on. Okay, let's say I want to, well, let's go back. Let's go back. I want to see my imported media. Okay, let's go click on imported media. Let's put something else in here. Let's see if I can do this one. This is a GIF animation. And I don't know if I can. No, I can't. Okay. I could make it larger. I would, but I can't. Let's just take a little hummingbird picture here and go back to my Rayhan transitions and picture in picture. I can show you how another one is done. We have A and B on a background. Same thing. Click on it. See the double headed arrow. Just drag it out to the end. In this case, I want to there we go a little more. You can see the split icon. There we go. Okay, becomes active, and I want to get rid of the extra here. Remove it, and this one shows up a little differently. It's not in the corner. It's doing this because I don't have it set correctly for this. Okay, Did I set it back to. Options, that's a 16 by 9. Set it by 4 by 3 and see if it works better. Yeah, it does. Okay. Some of these work better with 4 by 3 than 16 by 9. Okay, we want to publish our movie. Now, I've added extra. You go to publish to this computer. If this isn't showing, okay. This is the show or hide task icon up here. See? All gone. Oh no, where are my tasks? You always want that clicked. Show or hide collections. Okay. If you're, when you open it, if it looks like this, always click the show or hide task because you want the task showing. You're going to publish to this computer. You're going to give your movie a name. PIP test. Whoops. You're going to give it a place to be save to. I'll just save this one. Click next. Click more settings and then use a high quality 
DVD quality uh, profile to save your movie. I, I used to use DVAVI, but AVI sometimes distorts the audio. So I just, let's do Windows Media DVD quality. And I think I'm just going to save it in regular DVD quality and not widescreen. And then you just click Publish. And you'll get this estimated time remaining. This is a very short video, so it only takes a couple of seconds. Might as well 